at this hour! Would you care to donate to the Native Flag Fund on this Christmas Eve? Native plants! Useless! Are drying on the ecosystem! Bah humbug! Oh, that boy trying to save native plants. Survival of the fittest is all I have to say to them. Scrooge! Oh, Molly, is that Scrooge. you? But how can it be? I am speaking to you from the beyond. It is too late for me, Scrooge, but not for you. Molly, I do not understand. We bought the invasive plants and planted them. They escaped from our gardens and overran the native plants, creating a terrible monocult. But they are so beautiful and easy to grow. If native plants can't fight back, why should I care? Hear me, Scrooge. Invasive species cause millions in ecological and economic damage. You will be visited by three spirits. Heed their message before it is too late. Too late. Too late. Molly? Molly? Ah, it was nothing. Must be a bit of undigested potato. Ah, that Bob Cratchit left bad food in the office refrigerator again. I will dock his pay in the morning. Scrooge! Who are you? I am the ghost of Christmas past. Come with me. You used to love native plants, but then you changed. I'm going to show you why. Is this a dirty place we're going to? Will I need my slippers? Ah, Mountain Laurel, you are a wonderful native plant. You have sweet smelling flowers that smell like grapes in the spring. And you are very hardy in periods of drought. This is you many years ago. See, I am not unkind to native plants. Wait! But alas, you take so long to grow. Ah, but a red-tipped Fatonia! It is a wonderful plant because it grows so quickly. And it will give me a wonderful hedge. And I can buy it at my local hardware store for real cheap where I get my chemical fertilizer. You planted the red-tipped Fatonia? and the Chinese privet, and they escaped into the nearby nature preserve, crushing the native plants. They overran the habitat for the golden cheek warbler by defeating the native ash juniper. But it was cheap, too, for a shilling. Take me away, spirit. Scrooge Arino! Who? Who are you? I am the ghost of Christmas present. Come with me and I will show you the wonderful people who celebrate nature today. Again? Not without my slippers! We don't have much as the Cratchit family. But let us give a toast to this glorious feast of raw potatoes before us. Look, Scrooge. They don't have much, but they appreciate it all. This doesn't look so bad. We have to thank my employer for making this feast possible, Mr. Scrooge. Please, my family, do not hold a grudge against Mr. Scrooge. Even though he is stingy, he has a disdain of native plants and a phobia of dirty feet. Do not hold a grudge against him. For if it was not the pay that he provides, we would not be able to have this wonderful feast outside with our friendly native oak trees. God bless Mr. Scrooge. God bless everyone. Well said, Tiny Tim. Well said. Tell me, spirit, is Tiny Tim ill? What will become of him? What does it matter to you, Scrooge? Survival of the fittest. Take me away, spirit. I can bear it no more. <gasps> oh, me.
Are you the ghost of Christmas yet to come? You are the spirit that I fear the most. Very well. Show me the future. I remember this place. A very dirty place. I planted in a giant reed here for erosion control. What, where have all the native plants gone? No! The native plants are gone, as with the animals that lived with them. I will not be the man I once was. Just give me another chance. Oh, spirit, help me! No! <laughs> is it too late? What a glorious day it is! You there, boy, what day is it? Today is Christmas, of course. Thank you, spirit. It's not too late. You there, boy. Do you know that garden shop on Ivy Street? Yes, sir. What a delightful boy. Is that large bag of compost still hanging in the garden's window? The big one? The one as enormous as me? I think so. Wonderful. Here's a shilling if you'll buy it for me. Thank you, Governor! Thank you, spirits! Now I will right all my wrongs. Oh, thank you, Mr. Scrooge. Oh. And a Merry Christmas to you all.